Good morning, Vlogmas Day 14. 14. I can't believe I'm on Vlogmas Day 14. This morning, I am really not feeling today. I don't know what it is. I don't feel like going to work out. I don't feel like moving. I'm in limbo right now as far as what I'm gonna do today. Because there's a lot of things that I could be doing around the house. It's not fun things, it's not vlog worthy things. And there's a, um, I should probably go out and work out as well. But I definitely don't feel like doing that either. Hey y'all, so today I decided to kind of veer away from vlogging. As you can see by the beginning of the clips, today was a really hard day to try and get myself going to the gym. So I decided to share with you guys what I do to try and help push myself to get to the gym on days that I'm really just not feeling it. So the first tip I have is just to try and rationalize with yourself why you need to go to the gym. If you have weight loss goals, if you have strength goals, if you have booty goals, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then tell yourself, if I skip this day in addition to my rest day, then I'm kind of holding myself back, taking a step back rather than a step forward towards my my goals, because I, I like to think back every day and say to myself, what did I do today to get one step closer to my goals? So that's one tip that really is powerful that you can use as far as just trying to get yourself heading out the door to get to the gym. If rationalizing it to yourself doesn't really work, then you just really need to use that, that tough love kind of talk to yourself. So, um... Yo, what are you doing with your life? I'm just watching YouTube. Who cares that you're watching YouTube? That's not gonna do anything for you. Yeah, I know, I don't feel like working out right now. You're being lazy. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean you're being lazy? You're just sitting there watching YouTube and not doing anything. You need to get up and go do some work. And by work, I mean work out. You feel me? You feel me? I mean, I guess I don't really, I don't really feel you right now. How about you go work out for me? How about that? You, you go ahead and do that. I'm not sure you understand. If I go work out, that means you're gonna go work out because you know, we're the same person. Yeah, I'm, I've been thinking about that. I don't think we're the same person. I mean, clearly talking to you and you're on the other side of the table, so. Oh, we are the same person. Oh yeah. Do you remember when I gave you the hoodie and then you put it on and then I had the hoodie on? Yeah, we're the same person. No, we're not the same person. Oh, we are the same person. We're not the same Really? Birthday. We're gonna do this again? Enough! The second tip I have is schedule your day around your workouts. For me, my gym is so close to my grocery store that I usually plan out my day by going to the gym, then hitting the grocery store, and then heading back home. It wouldn't make sense for me to just be in the same area and then skip on doing one versus the other. It really just makes my day go by smoother if I do them both and get them done and over with all at one time. You know what I'm saying? The next tip I have is meet a friend at the gym. If you know that someone is counting on you or waiting on you to meet them at the gym at a certain time, that's a good motivator to just get you out the door. All right, so I just made it to the gym. I'm so excited because I get to see, uh, I get to see. Hmm. Oh. And if you don't have any friends, try and make some friends. If you kind of create a family, like a, a, a nice group of friends at the gym, then you're more likely to want to go back more and more each time. So let's say you get to the gym 
you're still not feeling it, you really don't feel like overthinking what kind of workout you should do, my next tip would be take a class. Then it takes away all the necessary thinking you have to do and you're just following someone else's workout. And this can be great because not only are you working out, not having to think about what you need to do next, but you're usually with a group of people and that way you can make some friends at the gym to help motivate you to get to the gym every day. Does that make sense? My next tip would be the music you listen to on your way to the gym. For me, I really can't stand slow music, any kind of sad music on the way to the gym. It really just brings me down even more. I like to put something to beat, something that's going to get me moving. Maybe not too hype. But definitely something more upbeat and uplifting. My next tip would be if I'm feeling very low energy, I'm not feeling like doing anything, I start on the treadmill. The settings on the treadmill would be somewhere around a 5 incline and a speed of 2.8 miles. It's not too fast and it's not too slow, but it's good enough to kind of get me going, especially going up on the incline. My number one key tip to try and get motivated to work out would be while you're doing this warm up, listen to B.O.B. by Outkast. If that song does not pump you up while you're walking on that treadmill, I'm not really sure what song will pump you up. The next tip I have for trying to get you in the mood to want to work out. Let's say you've done all those things, you've warmed up already, you decided you're not feeling the class, you want to do something on your own, or maybe there aren't any classes available for the time that you're there, go straight into lifting. I would say skip your cardio session if you have a cardio session and go into lifting. Because if you're doing some kind of steady state cardio, you're really going to get bored on top of feeling that low energy of not wanting to work out. And it's just an equation for quitting right there. Whoa! So those are my tips and what I use to help motivate me to get to the gym on days where I'm not feeling it. Give this video a thumbs up if these are tips that you might use in the future. And if you do use these tips, let me know down in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the flippy flop.